Hello, everyone. <laughs> you know who I am. So today I want to talk about something that's really driving me crazy. And maybe you all can help me with this. <laughs> I don't know. But it is the fact that in the hearing loss world, um, people talk about their hearing loss in terms of percentages. <laughs> and there is no way to talk about your hearing loss in percentages. <laughs> so, and this is the reason why. You know, the, the reason, the big reason is because you can't measure hearing loss with a spoon or with a cup or with a ruler or a tape, it, you can't. It just, it just won't work. <laughs> so, it doesn't work. So, um, so then you're gonna say, well, Lisa, then, 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 then with what? You know. So, if it's if it's not with you know the measurements of you know cups, spoons, rule, rulers, then what do we measure hearing loss with? And that is, if you take out your hearing loss, uh, I'm sorry, if you take out your <laughs> blah, <laughs> your audiogram for a second, you take it out, go get it. <laughs> so you can go get it later and then come back to this video. If you if you do your 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 test with the audi audiologist. You know, she's measuring up top, she's measuring the numbers up top are low pitch to high pitches. Okay, those are those numbers on the top. The numbers on the side, on the left side of your audiogram, that is soft, medium to profound, or loud sounds, I'm sorry. So soft, medium to loud sounds. What sounds on that scale are you missing? And on the top, what pitches are you missing? Are they the low sounds or the high sounds? Then, you know, then the other measurement is, and depending on all of that, you get normal hearing, you get, um, it's not moderate, <laughs> mild, so it's normal, mild, moderate, severe to profound, okay? So then they can tell you, okay, you have, you have mild hearing loss, or you have moderate hearing loss, or you have moderate to severe, or severe or profound. Those are the measurements for hearing loss, not percentages. Now granted, some audiologists use percentages to kind of help you understand where you are. You know, let me throw out a percentage here. Uh, moderate would be like 50%, you know, 30 to 50%, somewhere in that area. Now you might say, Lisa, then why, why don't they use percentages? And it's like, <clears throat> because that's not a measurement for hearing loss. And again, they can't measure it with a spoon. They can't measure it with a cup. They can't measure it with a tape or with a ruler, which would give us percentages. And the problem is hearing loss, what you report is subjective because it's coming from you. And so it's it's a little difficult. And, and I understand that percentages are easier to understand. So even the audiologists use percentages and it just kind of gives you a, a number on a scale, but she never measured you in percentages mathematically. She never did, or he never did. So, um, and you can ask them, are you measuring me in percentages? It's like, no, <laughs> no. There are no percentages on your reports or on your audiograms. <laughs> it has to do with normal, mild, moderate, moderate to severe to profound. That's what's going on your report. So those are the measurements that we all have to get used to. Um, you know, if we use percentages, that's like a, I don't know, 
It's just it gives you a visual, gives you a mathematical number that might helpful, might be helpful, but but it's not a true number. It's not a true measurement. And you can ask your audiologist, do we measure in percentages? And automatically they're going to say, no, we don't. <laughs> so depending on these, the soft, moderate to loud sounds, and depending on the pitches, low pitches to high pitches, then we know where you are in, in the audiogram. Then we can say, oh, okay, she's down here, so this is moderate. Oh, but here on these pitches, she's, she's in the normal range, but on the high pitches, she's really down here. So that also helps them program your hearing uh, apparatus. So, so again, you know, what's driving me crazy is people post out there, oh, I have 20% hearing loss, or I have 30%. Well, where did they get that? <laughs> How did this ideologist measure your hearing loss? <laughs> so it's it's very different than what we think it is. And, and I get it. You know, the percentage helps me, the patient, understand how much hearing loss I have. But I want to switch your brain a little bit over to the true measurements, which is on the chart, you know, normal, mild, moderate, moderate to severe, to uh, severe to profound. And, and get those measurements in, in, your, in your head here so you understand where you're at on the true scale of measuring your hearing loss. Um, I remember that when I started, when I started with, with um, hearing aids, I was already moderate. Forget the mild, forget the normal. <laughs> I was already down to moderate. And then I quickly went down to moderate, down to severe, moderate to severe. And it's like, well, how do I prevent, how do I stay there and stop slipping? And there was no nothing that we could do uh, to stop the slipping me down. You know, I couldn't stay there. It was just whatever was happening to my hearing. It was just going, going, gone. So, <clears throat> so it's scary sometimes to hear all of a sudden you're moderate, and then a year later, a year and a half later, you're moderate to severe, and it's like, what the heck? <laughs> How did I do that? You know, and it is scary. And then I went from severe to profound, and then I was completely in profound, which I heard very, very, very little. So, and then I was just profound, period. And I just had to deal with it and understand that that's what it was. <laughs> Down to severe. So, and then I was officially deaf. You know, I think for me, <clears throat> This is my personal opinion. Once you hit that severe, moderate to severe area, then you really start struggling with, with um, hearing aids. And then, of course, when you hit the severe, then it's m much more tricky to program those hearing aids. And, of course, then once you hit profound, um, then you're, <clears throat> as they say, you're screwed. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> you're really in a pickle. <laughs> Let me say you're really in a pickle. Um, and it's it's tough. It really is. Although there are some people who are in the profound range and use hearing aids still. And they they manage. They manage. Um, I just wasn't managing with, with the speech levels. I was just gone. I couldn't do it. So... You know, and I didn't want people to strain. I was a social worker. I talk all the time. I listen to people all the time. So so that, you know, that issue is, <laughs> you know, it, it was just off the table. I, I really needed to be able to hear so to do my work. So we talked about cochlear implants. So I think I'm, you know, I'm back up to the moderate, mild to moderate, depending on, 
depending on, you know, what I'm listening to and what kind of voice I'm listening to. So, so that's, that's good for me. I, I can live with that. So, but I would say moderate for most of what I do and in <clears throat> mild, mild for most of what I do and in moderate for some other things depends on, on the pitch again, you know, and I think the audiogram, I don't think I've ever seen a, my audiogram uh, for the cochlear implants. So that would be, that would be interesting. And I have an appointment coming up soon. So <laughs> I have to ask if, if it's an ideogram or, you know, or, or is it calculated differently for cochlear implants? So stay tuned for that. And I will see you for sure in the next one. Take care. And, um, this week that you're watching this video, I'm on retreat. So uh, take care of the channel. And I will get back around Friday to see how everybody's doing. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye.